Welcome. What I'd like to do is show you how to determine the vertex as well as the x-intercepts of this quadratic equation. Now, fortunately for us, this quadratic is in vertex form. So as far as identifying the vertex, that's going to be very simple. Um, remember that vertex form is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k, where my vertex is h comma k. Now, notice in the formula, it's x opposite of h and then k. So therefore, my vertex for this problem is going to be the opposite of negative um, 4, which will be 4, comma, negative 4. Now I need to be able to identify the x-intercepts. Uh, now the x-intercepts are kind of very similar to the solutions of the quadratic, where the graph is going to cross the x-axis, um, which a lot of times also we call as the roots or even some zeros, depending on a function or an equation. So in this case, what I need to do is I need to solve when the equation is going to be, e when, well, for what values of x will my equation be equal to 0. So to do that, I'm going to replace my y or my output variable with 0. And now I need to solve. Now, since this is in vertex form, I can solve using the square root method and inverse operations. So to do that, I need to isolate my x minus 4 squared. So I'll add a 4 to both sides. So I have 4 equals x minus 4 squared. Now I use the square root method, which is the inverse operation of squaring, which would be the square root. So now I take the square root of both sides. When I do that, those undo each other. Remember, whenever you introduce the square root, you have to make sure you include the positive and the negative value. So therefore, I have plus or minus 2 equals x minus 4. I don't need to continue the parentheses. That was just to make sure I understood that it was x minus 4 squared. So now I just add 4. So x equals 4 plus or minus 2. I can simplify that to x equals 6 comma x equals 2. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you find the vertex as well as the x-intercepts of a quadratic. Thanks.